appear in high cross country ability are one of the main advantages of Zaporizhia bogies. It goes 110, 120 kilometers across the field, the guy said. Auto mechanic Vitaly Hritsai assembled his first buggy of his own design for the military a year ago. His cars work in many areas of the front. They are universal. They can be used both for combat and reconnaissance and for evacuating the wounded from under enemy fire. And although they are all similar outwardly, each has its own design features, says Vitaly Hritsai. There are vehicles that hunt tanks, vehicles that intelligence uses. And there are vehicles that carry out evacuations, and the design of the vehicle depends on this, what it should be like. The military itself gives proposal for finalizing the cause, says Vitaly. They criticize sometimes, but more often they respond well. The buggy developed by Vitaly weighs a little over 500 kilograms, the engine power is about 100 horsepower, and the diesel fuel consumption is only 5 liters per 100 kilometers. Such a vehicle is indispensable at the forefront. I even made a trailer for this buggy, a small one, for evacuation, for transporting ammunition and water. Details and assemblies of future buggies Vitaly acquires at his own expense and with donations from the residents of Zaporizhia. It takes only a month to make a car. Vitaly has vast experience. He has been working as an auto mechanic for about 30 years. Once he decided to assemble his own car, a copy of an English sports car. When the full-scale Russian war began, he handed over his car to the armed forces of Ukraine and decided to continue assembling cars for the front. I've had such a dream to do something with my own hands since my childhood, so I started assembling a car, the first one, which I gave to Bakhmut, which still goes to evacuation. Vitaly also participated in the military actions in 2014, when Russian troops occupied the Donetsk region. Then the Ukrainian defenders lacked equipment and even weapons, Vitaly recalls. We went to war the way I am now standing here, a t-shirt, some slippers and shorts. And there was nothing, everything was given by people, they brought food, brought clothes. Even then he appreciated the importance of volunteering, so now he joined the ranks of army assistants and also his parents always taught him to help people, Vitaly says. This help. Well, I must do this. If I am not there now, then I must do something here. And I understand that each person must do something for our victory, so that we kick out these bastards, so that they would not be on our land. Vitaly is already thinking about expanding his production, and he plans to assemble vehicles for the military until the very victory. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Oleg Pritykin, Boris Yakovenko, UATV News.